Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and Breaking Bad fans got a huge surprise this weekend with the news that a film based on the show named El Camino will be getting released in October. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the movie as well as what could happen in it. This video is potentially full of spoilers so if you don't want to know anything about the film then I highly suggest that you turn off now. There's a lot to break down so with that out the way let's get into everything we know so far about El Camino. Okay, so firstly, I thought I'd go over the meaning of El Camino. Fans of Breaking Bad are well aware that titles in the show often have a double meaning to them, and examples of this can be seen in the show's finale, titled Felina. That episode title was a reference to Felina, a character from the song El Paso by Marty Robbins. The song tells the story of a man returning to a town that exercised him to kill the bandits that took his love, and in the end he dies after defeating the gang. This is, of course, pretty much the entire plot of the Breaking Bad finale, and the word Felina can also be broken up into three different symbols of chemical elements found in the periodic table, which are iron, lithium, and sodium. This has also led some fans to assume that the final episode title means blood, meth, and tears, because iron is in blood, lithium is used in methamphetamine products, and sodium is a component of tears. So yeah, there's definitely potentially a lot to unpack. El Camino is not only a car, but it also means the way, and the film will likely pick up with Jesse escaping from the season 5 compound and using it to go on the road and hopefully find his way. The synopsis for the show reads, following the escape of a kidnapped man and his quest for freedom, which I think adds a lot of weight to this. El Camino can also mean the King's Highway as well as the Royal Road, so I think it's safe to assume from this that the film will be a road trip type film with Jesse on the run from the authorities. But who's returning for the film? Well, once more the show will be heralded by Vince Gilligan, who created Breaking Bad, and we know that it is starring Aaron Paul as Jesse Pinkman. Skinny Pete is also making a return, however, there have also been rumours that Kristen Ritter, Jesse's parents, and even Brian Cranston are coming back. Both he and Jane will probably be in flashbacks, as the characters are long gone. Though there's lots of speculation around this. When asked about an appearance, Cranston said the following. If Vince Gilligan asked me to do it, sure, absolutely. He's a genius, it's a great story, and there's a lot of people who felt that they wanted to see some sort of completion to some of these storylines that were left open. This idea, from what I was told, gets into at least a couple of the characters who were not completed as far as their journey. I can't wait to see all those people again, even if I just come by to visit. So it looks like Cranston has been at least told the ideas of the script, and included in on the plotline in some form or another. He may even appear as a hallucination to Jesse, tormenting or even guiding the character. We know that Jesse is prone to delusion due to the time he hallucinated that he was a carpenter, so perhaps Walter will appear with him on the road in some form or another. Jesse is probably damaged due to his treatment, and I can definitely see this being a plot point that they travel down. In the trailer, which was pretty straightforward, we see police investigating Pinkman's disappearance, and they clearly discovered the lab and know about his work, though his involvement may still be unknown. Skinny Pete mentions in the trailer that he doesn't know where Jesse is, so they will probably be spreading the investigation far and wide, and this could be a film that sees the long arm of the law reaching across America to try and track down the character. Filming began on the 21st of November 2018, and the movie is rumoured to be roughly two hours in length. Lastly, the film is due to be released worldwide on October the 11th, 2019, and will be streamed exclusively on Netflix. We haven't had any official production photos released just yet, and it remains to be seen whether the trailer itself will feature in the film, or just be part of the promotions. I think everyone is very hyped for the movie, though I am going in with tempered expectations. I do think that the finale of Breaking Bad is the greatest final episode of a TV show ever, and it's always risky revisiting things that have wrapped up so well. If it's more of the same with Jesse just being free, then I don't know if it's the best thing to do, and it may leave a bitter taste in fans' mouths, so obviously anticipation is high. I'm still very, very excited for the film though, and I can't wait to see what happens in it. Obviously, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the film, and if you're excited for it. Comment below and let me know, and if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out my breakdown of 13 Reasons Why Season 3, which will be linked at the end. I go over everything you need to know about the Netflix show, so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to come talk to me about movies, TV shows, games, and comic books, then you can follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT. 
It's the best way to get in touch with me and it's the perfect place to suggest new videos and content so hopefully I see you over there after this. Also just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of John Wick 3 on Blu-ray and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on El Camino in the comment section below. The winner will be chosen at random on September the 10th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.